Ballet Obscura Lesson 10 Demi Plie and Grand Plie Start in fifth position holding the bar lightly with your left hand, your right arm down and round. Demi Porte Bras on the preparation. On the counts of one and two, perform one Demi Plie and one Releve. On the counts of three and four, perform one demi plie and one releve. On the counts of five, six, seven, and eight, perform one grand plie. On the next eight counts, stretch forward and back, and then tond you to the side to get into second position. Repeat the combination in second position, then demi rond de jambe to fourth and repeat in fourth position, and then tend you forward and then repeat in fifth position. Releve and balance, and then demi de tournée to face the other side, balance once more, and then repeat the combination to the left. Reminders. Keep the hips pulled forward so the body weight is less on the heels and more on the balls of the feet. Keep the weight evenly distributed over both legs the whole time. Press the knees back and maintain proper posture during all demi plie. Press through an even demi plie during grand plie in first and fifth positions and especially during fourth position. Refer to the Ballet Obscura training videos for more details on correct execution of these steps. Arms, porte bras. Demi plie, relevé, demi plie, relevé, grand plie down, and two, come up to demi and straight. Forward stretch. Come up and stretch back. Tond you to second position. Repeat.
Ballet Obscura, Lesson 10, Tendu. Start in fifth position at the bar, left hand holding the bar lightly, right arm down and round. demi porte bras on the preparation. On the counts of one and two, perform one tendu forward with the right foot and then close to fifth position in demi-plié. On the count of three, tendu forward once more. On the count of four, flex the right foot, keeping the angle of the leg the same. Do not raise or lower the working leg during the flex. On the count of five, point the right foot again. On the count of six, close the right foot to fifth position in demi-plié. On the counts of seven and eight, Perform one tendu forward with the right foot and then close to fifth position in demi-plié. Repeat the combination en croix to the front, side, back, and side. Extra credit assignments. Perform the combination with a relevé on the count of three, holding on demi point for the counts of four and five, and then closing to fifth position demi-plié on the count of six. Perform the combination without demi-plié. Perform the combination twice as fast. Reminders. Keep the hips pulled forward so the body weight is less on the heels and more on the balls of the feet. For tendu forward, pull the heel forward when extending out from fifth position. For the tendu to the side, remember that front is front, back is back, as they are both parallel to the bar. Side is not at a right angle, so that the hips are properly aligned. Use the heel ball toe and toe ball heel when performing tendu. Refer to the Ballet Obscura training videos for more details on correct execution of these steps. Arms Porte bras. Tendu. Front. Close fifth. Point. Flex. Point. Close plie fifth. Point. Plie fifth. Point. Side. Close back. Tendu side. Flex. Point. Close fifth front. Point side. Close back. Repeat back. Ballet Obscura, Lesson 10, Degage, Coupe, and Pas de Bure. Start in fifth position at the bar, holding the bar with your left hand, your right arm down and round. Demi porte bras on the preparation. On the counts of one and two, Degage out with the right leg, and then close back into fifth position in Demi plie. On the count of three, Dégagé out with a relevé. On the count of four, 
demi-plié to coupé. On the count of five, relevé and extend the right leg out again. On the count of six, close back into fifth position. On the counts of seven and eight, dégagé out to the front with the right leg and then close back into fifth position in demi-plié. Now repeat the movement to the back with the left leg, which will be the one closer to the bar. Repeat the combination to the side with the right leg, closing fifth in back in demi-plié. Relevé and the coupé will close in front, then close fifth in back, then close fifth in front. As you close the final dégagé in front, lift the left foot to coupé. Perform one pas de bourrée as you turn towards the bar to finish facing the other side in a fifth position with your left foot in front. Now repeat the combination to the other side. As an option, perform the combination twice as fast. Reminders, keep the hips pulled forward so that the body weight is less on the heels and more on the balls of the feet. Make sure to have the supporting leg turned out before the pas de bourrée. Do not start the turn early as it should be during the pas de bourrée only. Refer to the Ballet Obscura training videos for more details on correct execution of these steps. Arms, porte bras. Dégagé brush out, close fifth, relevé out, plié coupé. Out, close fifth, dégagé front, close fifth, other leg back, fifth, relevé back, plié coupé, back, fifth, back, and again. Now, side, close fifth back, relevé, coupé front, relevé, close fifth back, brush, down, lift your back foot to coupé, pas de bourrée back, side, front. Now repeat to the other side. Now let's do double time. Porte bras, brush, out, in, up, coupe up, close out, other leg back, back coupe, back and back, side fifth, side coupe, side, close coupe, pas de bourrée back, side, front, now the other side.
Ballet Obscura Lesson 10, Ronde de Jambe and Grand Ronde de Jambe. Start in fifth position at the bar, holding the bar with your left hand, your right arm down and round. demi porte bras and fondue forward on the preparation. The fondue. Lift your working leg to coupe and extend it to the front. Then demi rond de jambe to the side and then to the back as part of the preparation. You will slide your leg through first position as you bring it to the front on the first count. On the counts of one, two, three, and four, perform four rond de jambe à terre en dehors, front and around. After you have done the fourth rond de jambe, demi plie as you bring the feet through first position. On the counts of five, six, and seven, perform one grand rond de jambe en dehors, closing fifth position in back in demi plie on the count of eight. Repeat the combination on de done, which is to the back. Extra credit assignment. Perform one full grand porte bras with the free arm during the four rond de jambe a terre en dehors. The porte bras should reverse when you perform the rond de jambe en de done. Reminders Hold the bar as lightly as possible. Keep your torso isolated. For this exercise, only the working leg should be moving during the rond de jambe a terre. When performing rond de jambe a terre, Keep the working leg moving at a constant, no speeding up or slowing down during the movement. Be careful not to let the torso sway as you perform rond de jambe à terre to the back. Keep both legs actively turned out the whole time. Keep the knees straight when going through first position. If you are naturally hyperextended, the heels do not need to touch each other when going through first position when performing rond de jambe à terre. Be aware of your body posture and body alignment during the grand rond de jambe. Do not try to lift the leg too high. Focus on correctness of body alignment and balance before height. Note from your training videos, during the Grand Rond de Jambe, see how far you can move your leg from the front to the side without moving your hips. Refer to the Ballet Obscura training videos for more details on correct execution of these steps. Preparation, forward, side, back, front and around, two and around, three and around, Four, lift front, side, back, close back, under done, back, two, three, back and around, lift back, side, forward, close and repeat on dehors.
Ballet Obscura, Lesson 10, Développé and Attitude. Demi porte bras on the preparation. On the count of one from fifth position, slide the right leg up to retire, extend forward through attitude on the count of two. In between the counts of two and three, demi plie with the left leg and press into an attitude with the right leg. On the count of three, straighten the knees. On the count of four, press back into a demi plie with the left leg. On the count of five, releve on the left leg. Hold for the count of six. On the counts of seven and eight, envelope into a fifth position. Repeat this combination en quoi, front, side, back, and side. Reminders, keep the hips pulled forward so the body weight is less on the heels and more on the balls of the feet. For the attitude position, the knee is bent at a 45 degree angle on the front and side and at a 90 degree angle on the back. For développé forward, Pull the foot forward when extending out from the retire. For développé to the side, press through an attitude when extending out from the retire. For développé to the back, press the knee back and up through attitude when extending out from the retire. Use the heel ball toe concept when lifting off the floor and the toe ball heel when pressing back into a fifth position. Refer to the Ballet Obscura training videos for more details on correct execution of these steps. Arm porte bras. Lift, retire, extend, bend and straight, demi plie, releve, holding, envelope, seven and eight. To the side, lift, straight, bend, straight, demi plie, releve, envelope, close fifth in back, now back.
Ballet Obscura, Lesson 10, Grand Batement. Start in fifth position at the bar, holding the bar with your left hand, your right arm down and round. Porte bras on the preparation. On the count of one, Grand Batement forward once. On the count of two, Grand Batement to the side, closing fifth position in back. On the counts of three and four, Grand Batement to the back twice. On the count of five, Batement to the side, closing in front. On the count of six, Batement to the front. On the counts of seven and eight, Grand Batement to the side twice, closing fifth position in front and then in back. Now reverse the combination starting to the back first. As an option, add the appropriate arms and head inclinations. Reminders, hold the bar as lightly as possible. Keep the foot pointed when it is off the floor, especially as you bring it down through the tendu position. A note from your training videos, front is front, back is back. They are both parallel to the bar. When performing battement to the side, it is not at a right angle. Focus on keeping the hips in place. Remember, it's ballet, not hula. Use the heel ball toe when kicking up and the toe ball heel when closing back into fifth position. Refer to the Ballet Obscura training videos for more details on correct execution of these steps. Arm porte bras, kick front and side together, back together, back together. Side close front, forward close, side close front, side close back. Kick back and side, front, front again, side and back. Kick side, close back, side, close front, beginning. Congratulations, your ballet bar is done. It is now time to stretch. Make sure to stretch one more time after the center floor exercises for your cool down. Ballet Obscura, Lesson 10, Center Adagio. Start in fifth position facing downstage, arms down and round. Demi porte bras on the preparation. On the count of one, tendue the right foot forward. 
On the count of two, demi rond de jambe to à la seconde. Slide the right foot to the side. On the count of three, demi rond de jambe to à neuvain. Slide the right foot to the front. On the count of four, demi plié the left leg and press the right foot to coupé in front. On the count of five, tendu the right foot to the side. On the count of six, demi rond de jambe to en arrière. Slide the right foot to the back. On the count of seven, demi rond de jambe to à la seconde. Slide the right foot to the side. On the count of eight, demi plié the left leg and press the right foot to coupé in back. Repeat the combination to the back and then to the side with the right foot. On the final closure, after you have repeated the combination en croix, front, side, back, and side, instead of pressing to coupé, close the right foot to fifth position in back. Now repeat the combination to the left. Extra credit assignment. Perform this combination with the leg lifted. This would be a grand rond de jambe en cut. En cut means one quarter, and the movement roughly equals one quarter of a circle. When performing this lifted, keep the upper torso in place when performing the movement from the back to the side and from the side to the back. When performing this combination a terre, isolate the torso from the working leg. Reminders, keep the hips pulled forward so the body weight is less on the heels and more on the balls of the feet. Refer to the Ballet Obscura training videos for more details on correct execution of these steps. Arms, porte bras, right foot, tendu, front, side, front, plié coupé, side, back, side, plié coupé in back, point back, side, back, plié coupé, side, front, side, close fifth in back, left foot forward,
Ballet Obscura, Lesson 10, Small Jumps, Changement, Entre Chez Toi, and Jeté. Start in fifth position facing downstage, right foot in front, both arms down and round. Demi porte bras on the preparation and demi plie at the end of the preparation. On the counts of one, two, and three, perform three changements. On the count of four, perform one entre chez toi. This is similar to the changement, but you land with one foot in coupe instead of fifth position. In this combination, the back foot lands in coupe. On the counts of five and six, perform two jeté. On the counts of seven and eight, perform one pas de bourrée, finishing in a fifth position with the left foot in front. Reminders, use the jumping ballon or bouncing quality. With all jumps, push off the floor using the muscles in the legs and feet. Feel as if you are pushing off the floor with an already pointed foot. Every time you are in the air, the knees fully straighten. Every time you land from jumps, land on the whole foot, but keep most of the body weight forward. Use the heel ball toe concept when lifting off the floor and the toe ball heel concept when landing. Arms. For the changement, the arms stay in a low fifth position, but not touching your torso. For the entre chetois, jeté, and pas de bourré, the arms are open to a la seconde. Bring them back to low fifth at the end of the pas de bourré. Head. The head will incline during the entre chetois and jeté. The incline is to the opposite direction of the foot that is up in coupé. It will look a bit like you are trying to look at the sole of the foot that is up in coupé. You can practice this combination while holding the bar and use it as an assist to help you with the jumps. When performing these or any jumps, make sure to use the muscles in the legs. The arms are not supposed to help you jump, as that is not in their job description. They have their own job to do. I would highly recommend you practice this combination half time first, then you can progress to the regular time. I dubbed it half time on the first track, then on time on the second track, and music only on the third track. Refer to the Ballet Obscura training videos for more details on correct execution of these steps. Porte bras. Changement, changement, changement entre chez toi. Jeté, jeté. Back side fifth. Changement, changement, changement entre chez toi. Jeté, jeté. Pas de bourré. Porte bras plié. Change, change, change under chez toi. Jeté, jeté, pas de bourré. Change, change, change under chez toi. Jeté, jeté, pas de bourré.
Ballet Obscura Lesson 10, Pirouettes en Dior. Start in fifth position facing downstage, demi porte bras on the preparation. On the count of one, tend you to the side with the right leg. On the count of two, slide the right foot to the back and press into a fourth position. Also, bring the right arm forward and allongé. Keep the weight more on the front foot than the back. The weight distribution in this preparation varies depending upon the dancer. Just before the third count and just before the relevé, bring the right arm open to the side. This arm movement should seamlessly go into the relevé movement and should have no pause. On the count of three, from fourth position, relevé off of both feet and simultaneously snap the right leg up to a retiré. Also on the count of three, bring both arms in to a first position, like you're holding a beach ball. Keep pulling the right leg into retiré and pull the knee back during the entire turn. On the count of four, close the right leg to fourth position and back. At this point, the front knee should be bent and the back knee can be bent or straight. Again, keep the body weight pulled forward more to the front foot. On the count of five, repeat the pirouette to the right once more. On the count of six, lower the right leg to the back once more. On the count of seven, tend you back with the right foot. On the count of eight, close to fifth position in back. Repeat the combination to the left. Reminders, keep the hips pulled forward so the body weight is less on the heels and more on the balls of the feet. Make sure to spot with the head as late as possible, most often after the body has already turned about a quarter turn in the pirouette. Use the heel ball toe when lifting the foot off the floor and the toe ball heel when pressing back into fifth position. When performing a relevé, use the muscles in the feet as well as the muscles in the rest of the body. Helpful hint, get a mental picture of ending the pirouette still on demi-point and in retiré, and then lower the leg to fourth position in back after the turn has been completed. You could also practice this combination without actually putting the turn into the pirouette chest relevé and balance without turning. For the turn, you'll also need a hard surface and ballet shoes. Socks could work, but might be slippery, so be careful. Refer to the Ballet Obscura training videos for more details on correct execution of these steps. Arms, preparation, and right foot, point, press forth, pirouette, close, forth and back, pirouette again, close, tendu, close, fifth, left, press, pirouette, left, close, back, pirouette, close, back, you and close.
Ballet Obscura, Lesson 9, Strength Jump Combination. Start in fifth position, facing downstage, both arms down and round. Demi porte bras on the preparation. On the count of one, perform one saison, finishing in a first arabesque, facing downstage right with the left leg in arabesque. On the count of two, saute in arabesque. On the count of three, saute in arabesque. On the count of four, saute and bring the left leg to coupe in back. On the count of five, saute in coupe. On the counts of six, seven, and eight, perform one pas de bourre and finish in fifth position with the left foot in front. Repeat the combination to the left. As an option, perform the combination twice as fast. Reminders, the supporting leg must fully straighten on every jump. The supporting foot must come to a full point on each jump. The body must be in correct posture during all jumps. The leg in arabesque must remain stationary during all jumps. The arms must remain in control during the combination. No flailing arms or legs. Use the muscles in the feet in addition to the muscles in the rest of the body to propel yourself off the floor in jumps. If this combination is difficult, practice at the bar or holding a support. If you do, use it sparingly. Refer to the Ballet Obscura training videos for more details on correct execution of these steps. Porte bras. Si sun, saute. Saute, jump to coupe. Pas de bourre back, side, close fifth, other way. Si sun, and jump, and jump, jump to coupe. Pas de bourre back, side, close fifth. Porte bras, si sun, out, jump, jump, coupe, back, side, front. Si sun, jump, jump, coupe, back, side, front. Again, si sun, coupe, back, side, fifth. Si sun, saute, saute, coupe, pas de bourre.
Congratulations! Your ballet lesson is done. Make sure to stretch out right now for your cool down. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy and are learning from my content, please like and subscribe and tell friends who feel likewise. It does take time and effort as I compose the music and choreograph the combinations completely from scratch for each lesson. I also put verbal explanations wherever needed so you can clearly understand what you're doing. I hope it makes the process a positive experience for you. To help keep me producing this content on a regular basis, your financial support is appreciated. You can become a member or just support with a donation on patreon.com slash ballet obscura.